Well, how you doing? Arthur Morgan here. I want to give a special shout out to all of you gamers, but especially Alan, Wilkie, and all the other members of the Sons of War gang on RDO. I know you're already there on GTA 5. Well, welcome to RDR 2 as well. It's good to have you gentlemen. Maybe one of these days I'll come across you in my online ventures. I'm only level five or six. I'm not too good. I got a Margaret Cho lookalike character. She's She's got some Princess Leia buns on each side of her head. You know, anyway, I don't do much with her except the, uh, go fishing and, and then I misplace wherever Crips put my camp and whatnot. But anyway, I want to give a big shout out to the Sons of War. And I hope that you're enjoying each other's company on online and that you're staying safe offline. Take it from someone who knows about contagious diseases. This whole social distancing and washing your hands thing ain't a load of bunk. I got a lot of friends in New York still locked up. So uh, I guess we just got to be grateful that we're all safe and sound still. And be careful to keep it that way, too. All right. Alan, you're all right, boy. Keep on loving each other. Keep on loving Red Dead. Keep on washing your hands, and you'll be all right. One last thing before I go. Leonard! Well, hello there, stranger. What can I get for you? One of those cigars would be good. And drink as well. All right, coming right up. It's kind of nice in here. You're the one who runs it. Neil Joyce, owner and operator. Seamus Brennan, sons of our leader. <laughs> yeah, I sure. Certainly have to weed, Jackass. I swear I'm gonna slap somebody now. Excuse me for asking, Milt, but it's kind of dead in here, you ain't it? You don't listen to a good deal. You see that guy over there? He comes barking in here one day. Slapping all the customers around and waving his gun everywhere. Takes out the high class play, you know. All that comes in there are the bombers and the drawlers. God damn, Jimmy, how many times are I gonna have chill to get that shit out of my face? Huh? God almighty, it's like I'm sitting here playing cards with my brother's kids or something. God damn nerve wracking sons of bitches. Is something on your mind? Just wanted to let you know you're sitting in my chair. <laughs> Is that a fact? Yeah, that's a fact. Well, for a man that don't run heels, you run your mouth pretty reckless, don't you? No need to go heels on a muppet like you. Is that a fact? Hmm, that's a fact. Well, I'm real scared. Damn right you're scared. I can see that in your eyes. Wait, wait, I... Go ahead. Go ahead, skin it. Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. Listen, mister, I'm getting off a tired of your... I ain't getting off a tired of your gas. Now jerk that pistol and go to work. I said throw down, boy. You gonna do something or are you just gonna stand there and bleed? Now? Didn't think so. Alright, youngster. Out you go. And don't come back. Ever. Well, what do you say, Milt? 25% for protection and guard duty sound about right? Well, we're off and running. She's acquired us another fine customer for protection. Acquired. So to speak. Now we just gotta keep our eyes on that brass ring, fellas. You're the one, Seamus. Why, Johnny Tyler. Mad cow. Hodgy? Where are you going with that shotgun? I didn't know you was back in town. Well, well. 
How the hell are you? Seamus, I am Roland. How are you, Jock? Sir. How are you, Thomas? Pardew. The Brennan Brothers? We're going into some business of ourselves, Pudgy. Seamus got us some protection game. Oh, so when did risking your neck become an honest business? Didn't you always say that gambling was an honest trade? No, I said poker's an honest trade. Only suckers book the tigers odds all on the house. Well, depends on how you look at it. I mean, it's not like anybody's putting a gun to their head now, is it? <laughs> That's why I love about me brother. He can talk his way into anything. Oh, Johnny, I apologise, I forgot you were there. You can shoot now. Just leave that shotgun. Thank you. What in God's name are you doing in Rhodes, brother? I was expecting Miss Page to be here. Elizabeth Page? Ah, now, Seamus. You ain't hanging around with her again, are you? I'm telling you that hag will just use you like she uses everyone else. Ah, but I like her, though. We used to talk all the time together. Haven't seen her for a while in the local moonshine shack though. A few late nights were her in that moonshine shack, huh? <laughs> Bet the upstairs bedroom was used quite frequently. I know what you're like. <laughs> That's none of your fucking business. Anyway, I thought you were meant to be back in Ireland. It was for a while, yeah. Came over here to do some weapon trading business with a few lads. Thought I'd stop by and say hello to me big brother, you know. Hey, I see you still got the golden revolver the owl had left you. You mean this old thing? It never leaves my sight. You always treasure that gun. If only that was alive at the time to hand it to you personally. Sheriff Behan! Gentlemen. Sheriff. Have you met Pudgy Brennan? Book you, Seamus. Mr. Brennan? Pleasure to meet you. Forgive me if I don't shake hands. So how's our little town suit you? Fine. But you know what I was thinking? This town could really use a racetrack. Really? That's not a bad idea. It's in a signal that we're growing up. Way ahead of yourselves, aren't you boys? This town is still under conflict between the Greys and the Baratwaites. You see how everyone dresses off of Tony for a town under conflict? No sir, Rose is growing rapidly and will be just as big as San Diego within the next few years or so, and as sophisticated- Get lost! Private business! Ah, uh, that cash was mine, you son of a bitch! Sweet heaven. Very cosmopolitan. I know them. They're my men. Seamus? Haji? Lads. What you say, old friend? What was that all about? We're looking for business, not murder. That guy tried to rob the General Star. Sheriff, may I introduce a pair of fine sons of war individuals? Mrs. Cathy O'Brien and Bob Ross. Law and order, every time. That's us. Jeez, we better get going before we cause more trouble. Brother, it was nice seeing you again. If you need me, you know where a hideout is. You better have the kettle boiled when I arrive. I'll be seeing you, Seamus. Have a good day, gentlemen. <laughs>